Hey everyone, welcome back to Technical Solution. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest Windows 11 version 25H2 on any unsupported PC, without losing your data. So, let's get started. First, we will download the Windows 11 ISO file. Open Google Chrome and search for Windows 11 download. Click on the first official link that appears. I will also provide this link in the video description. Scroll down until you see Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO. Select it and click on Confirm. Next, choose your language, select English, United States. Click Confirm again. Now you will see the download button for Windows 11. Click on it and wait for the ISO file to download. Important note, Windows 11 does not support 32-bit systems. It only supports 64-bit PCs. Now we will prepare a bootable pen drive. Open a new tab and search for Rufus. Click the first link and scroll down to download the latest version. Once downloaded, open Rufus. If permission is required, click Yes. If Rufus asks for an update, again click Yes. Now click on Yes and you will see the new version will arrive. Now you will need a pen drive. At least 16 gigabytes is recommended. I'm using a 64 GB USB drive. Insert your pen drive into the computer. Rufus will automatically show the pen drive name. Now click select and choose the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded. Before creating the bootable drive, we must check if your PC uses GPT or MBR. Right-click on the Start menu and open Disk Management. Locate where your C drive is, on Disk 0 or Disk 1. Right-click the disk, select Properties, and then go to the Volumes tab. Here you will see your partition style, either GPT or MBR. My system uses GPT, so no changes are needed. Go back to Rufus. You don't need to change anything here. Just click on Start. A window will appear with some options. Remove requirement for an online account, uncheck this. Remove requirement for secure boot and TPM 2.0, keep this checked. Click OK to continue. Remember, all data on your pen drive will be deleted. This process may take around 30 minutes. Once it's completed, click Close. Now remove the pen drive and plug it back into the PC. 
Open the pen drive and you will see the Windows setup file. Open setup and click yes if permission is asked. Click on change how setup downloads updates. Select not right now and continue. Click Accept. Then click Accept again. Next, click on Change what to keep. Here you must select the first option. Keep personal files and apps if you don't select this, all your data will be erased. Now click install. I'm skipping the installation part here because it takes time. Once the installation is complete, you will return to your desktop. And you will notice all your software, files, and data are still there, nothing is deleted. Now I'll show you my Windows version. You can see, my processor is Intel i5 4th gen. The Windows version is 25H2. And that's how you can easily download and install Windows 11 version 25H2 on your PC, without losing any data. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Technical Solution, give it a like, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.